Welcome to the Femme Afraid Mass Station. Today we are really excited about our interview. We are interviewing someone who just passed her PhD driver and she's really excited about <laughs> what she's going to do next. So yeah, let's welcome our, our guest and welcome to our channel. And we'd like you to start by introducing yourself or where you are from, where you, your journey through Mass and yeah. Thank you, Angela. My name is Kamala Nafula Orlando from Kenya, that is in Eastern Africa. And I've just finished my PhD in mathematics at the University of Glasgow. So, maths. <laughs> I've always loved maths since I was a young girl. I remember when I was in primary and even in high school, like I, I used to finish my maths homework very quickly. And in the process, I, I found that I liked it a lot. And back then, coming from Kenya, we really didn't know much about maths education. But there was this inner drive in me that was just gearing me towards the maths uh, part of life or studies, I can say. And I went on to do my BSc Mathematics in undergrad in Kenya, Masen University in Kenya, and then I did my master's there. And I came to finish my PhD, my PhD at the University of Glasgow in the UK. Oh, great. Um, so maybe you can tell us a little about your research because I think your your research is more applied than probably what I do. So just tell us a little about how you are using maths in your research to affect things in, in your society. Okay, so what I found interesting, when I began doing maths, we were mostly doing about, um, we were learning the theoretical parts of the algebra. Then later on in my third year, I think in my second year, I came to learn that maths is a really wonderful subject that can be used to solve a lot of things in the world. It can solve uh, things in uh, fluid dynamics, it can solve things in biology. And that was where my interest is, because where I come from, like there are a lot of diseases. And mostly in Africa, we find ourselves, we are curing we are more towards the control aspect of it rather than trying to understand the origins and the scientific component of the of the disease and hence that can help us to really control the, the disease. So I, I can guess it's a combination of both my background and my passion for math that drove me to do my studies in disease, disease dynamics and um, I've been doing my, uh, my math PhD on uh, how the immune system of a, of a sheep evolves towards an infection. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm sure it wasn't just smooth throughout your your, <laughs> your, your PhD journey. So we'd like you to share some challenges so that if there's someone watching who wants to do a PhD in applied mathematics, the person will know what to expect. So um, I can say um, in this world, as long as you have the passion and you have the necessary uh, support and resources, you can do anything. Like the world is yours, you can do anything yeah, in this world. So um, when I began my PhD, I I sort of like had a little break between my my undergrad and masters, and also between my masters and PhD. So I was not really in the academia for quite a long time, and hence that gave me a challenge whereby I had to really like. Um, bring my mind back to the academic part of it. So before I could really settle in, I struggled a lot. I had to do some extra courses. But at the same time, it, was, it wasn't all that bad. I had a very supportive department, had a very supportive uh, supervisor, friends, and resources. And generally, alongside with my passion, I was able to, to make it to the end. Great. So um, I'm sure you learned a lot of, a lot of skills along this yes. way, programming skills. So maybe someone wants to do a PhD mm -hmm. in applied maths. What skills should the person develop now? While the person is preparing, preparing to, to What kind of programming languages? What kind of courses? Generally, right now in the world, as a mathematician, I can see you're really a hot cake, whereby we, 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 we learn a lot of things that are applicable in all other sciences and even social sciences. So as a mathematician, if you have a little bit of that background, you may have learned a certain um, programming language, or if you don't, you can teach yourself Python online, you can teach yourself how to code on R, you can teach yourself MATLAB, you can teach yourself C, C++. And these are the things, right now, like when I'm looking for a job or applying for jobs, these are the skills that are required. And you find yourself, almost all jobs need those skills. So it's not even necessarily for your PhD or something. This is something you can teach yourself, and these are very important skills if you want to grow as a scientist, and specifically as an applied mathematician. Okay. Yeah. Well, Caroline is going back home very soon. Yes. And I'm sure there are lots of mass queens in Kenya watching yes, us. Yes, yes, um, yes. You want you to tell us what are your plans for 
outreaches or mass camps of stuff in Kenya, if you can tell yes. our audience about this. So previously, um, university for quite a long time, and we've done uh, some outreaches to girls, and not necessarily girls, even boys in high schools. We're teaching them about mass education, how fun it is, how simple <laughs> it is, and how important it is. So we've, we've run the mass camps from 2012, that's seven years, whereby we go to high schools in Kenya for weeks, uh, I think two weeks in, in during the school holidays and sometimes we even invite them to come to the university where they are able to learn coding, they are able to see the computers, <laughs> they are able to see how they, what the fun things that the codes are doing, which is really good. Another thing that I would really like to also be involved in as I'm going back is uh, there's a there's a math um, there's a math conference. It's called the Strathmore Math Conference. It's specifically for mathematicians in Africa, and generally we also invite to, uh, girls from high school to come to this conference to really <laughs> see how math it is and how fun it is. So these are the things I'm looking forward to and be, uh, being able to take a great role in them as I go back. Okay, so yes. If you don't know, Tammy is one of the reasons I came to Glasgow because um, I found out about the scholarship through her and through that um, I came here. So yeah, she, she's really supported me throughout and I would like her to send a message to any young girl watching there because I believe it's good as women to support each other so come eat this uh, yeah, young basically. Lady watching. <laughs> so basically Angela true we've been each other's box in our four years but it's not about us it's, <laughs> it's about the process itself any young girl I'm just a young <laughs> rural girl from <laughs> western Kenya I really didn't know the world outside there but I just had a dream I had a passion and through it, I stuck to it. And there were challenges along the way that drove me from this passion, but I stuck to it, and here I am. So any girl young out there, stick to it. You are our next maths queen. Yay, thank you for watching.